Alzheimer's disease, toxic shock. They both hit the front page of the Times the minute they happened and stayed there until somebody did something. The front page of the Times is a way of inspiring action. They won't even use the word gay unless it's in a direct quote. To them, we're still homosexuals. That's like still calling blacks Negroes. The Times has a way, has always had trouble writing about anything gay. Then how is anyone going to know what's happening and what precautions to take? Someone's going to have to tell the gay population facts. You've been living with this for over a year? Where's the mayor? Where's the health department? They know about it. You have a commissioner of health who got burned with a swine flu epidemic, declaring an emergency when there wasn't one. The government appropriated $150 million for that mistake. You have a mayor who's a bachelor and I assume afraid of being perceived as too friendly to anyone gay. And who is also out to protect a billion dollar a year tourist industry. He's not about to tell the world there's an epidemic menacing his city. And don't ask me about the president. Is the mayor gay? <laughs> if he is, like J. Edgar Hoover, who would want him? <laughs> Have you had any of the symptoms? Well, I've had most of the sexually transmitted diseases the article said come first. <clears throat> a lot of us have. We don't know what it's been like since the sexual revolution hit this country. It's been crazy, straight or gay. What makes you think I don't know? Any fever, weight loss, night sweats, diarrhea, swollen glands, white patches in your mouth, loss of energy, shortness of breath, Chronic cough. No, but those could happen with a lot of things, couldn't they? And purple lesions, sometimes, which is what I'm looking for. It's a cancer. There seems to be a strange reaction in the immune system. It's collapsed, won't work, won't fight, which is what it's supposed to do. So most of the, dise the diseases my guys are coming down with, and there are some very strange ones are caused by germs that wouldn't hurt a baby. Not a baby in New York City, anyway. Unfortunately, the immune system is the system we know least about. So, where is this big mouth I hear you've got? I have more of a bad temper than a big mouth. Nothing wrong with that. Plenty you get angry about. Health is a political issue. Everyone's entitled to good medical care. If you're not getting it, you've got to fight for it. Open your mouth. Turn over. One of my staff told me you were well known in the gay world and not afraid to say what you think. Is that true? I can't find any gay leaders. I tried calling several gay organizations. No one ever calls me back. <clears throat> Is anyone out there? There aren't any organizations strong enough to be useful, no. <clears throat> Dr. Bruckner, nobody with a brain gets involved in gay politics. It's filled with the great unwashed radicals of any counterculture. That's why there aren't any leaders. The majority will follow. Anyway, you're talking to the wrong person. What I think is politically incorrect. Why? Gay is good to that crowd, no matter what. There's no room for criticism. We're looking at ourselves critically. What's your main criticism? Well, I hate how we play victim. When many of us, most of us, don't have to. Then you're exactly what's needed now. Nobody ever listens. We're not exactly a bunch that knows how to play follow the leader. Maybe they're just waiting for somebody to lead them. We are. What group isn't? You can get dressed. I can't find what I'm looking for. Needed? Even for what? What is it exactly you're trying to get me to do? Tell gay men to stop having sex. What? Someone has to. Why not you? It's a preposterous request. It only sounds harsh. Wait a few more years, it won't sound so harsh. Do you realize that you are talking about millions of men who have singled out promiscuity to be their principal political agenda? <laughs> the one they die before abandoning? How do you deal with that? Tell them they may die. <coughs> you tell them. Are you saying you can't? You guys can't relate to each other in a non-sexual way? It's more complicated than that. For a lot of guys, it's not easy to meet each other in any other, other way. It's a way of connecting, which becomes an addiction. And then they're caught in a web of peer pressure to perform and perform. Are you sure this is spread by having sex? Long before we isolated the hepatitis viruses, we knew about the diseases they caused and had a good idea of how they got around. I think I'm right about this. I am seeing more cases each week than the week before. I figure that by the end of the year, the number will be doubling every six months. That's something over a thousand cases by next June. Half of them will be dead. Your two friends are just diagnosed. One of them will be dead. Maybe both of them. Are you 
<laughs> and you want me to tell every gay man in New York City to stop having sex? Who said anything about just New York? You want me to tell every gay man across the country? Across the world. That's the only way this disease will stop spreading. Dr. Bruckner, isn't that just a tiny bit unrealistic? Mr. Weeks, if having sex can kill you, doesn't anybody with half a brain stop fucking? Perhaps you've never lost anything. Goodbye. Where do I go? Where do I go? Quickly, put him on the table. What happened? He came out of the building and he started running towards me. And then he just suddenly fell to the ground. What is going on inside your bodies? Gently. You the lover? Yes. What's your name? Bruce Niles, ma'am. How's your health? Why? Is it contagious? I think so. Then why haven't you come down with that? Because it seems to have a very long incubation period and requires close intimacy. Niles? You were Reinhardt Olsen's lover? How did you know that? I haven't seen him in a couple of years. He died three weeks ago. Bruckner, emergency. Set up a room immediately. We were only boyfriends for a couple of months. It's like some sort of plague. There's always a plague of one kind or another. Mr. Weeks, I don't think your friend is going to live for you. That's, uh, I...